The Excel XNPV function is a financial function that calculates the net present value of an investment using a discount rate and a series of cash flows that occur at irregular intervals. XNPV function is a lot more precise than NPV where dealing with a series of cash flows at irregular intervals as it allows you to specify dates that correspond to the each cash flow. Here is the syntax. Rate the discount rate to apply to the cash flows for one period. If your cash flows are happening every year, this would be the annual discount rate. If these are quarterly, this would be the quarterly discount rate. Values, a series of cash flows that corresponds to a schedule of payments in dates. Negative values represent cash paid out. Positive values represent cash received. The first value corresponds to the outflow that occurs at the beginning of the investment. XNPV does not discount the initial cash flow. All successive cash flows are discounted based on a 365 day year. Dates, a schedule of payment dates that corresponds to the cash flow payments. The first payment date indicates the beginning of the schedule of payments. All other dates must be later than this date, but they may occur in any order. For example, Calculate the net present value on the same data using both NPV and XNPV functions. Use this formula to use the NPV function. Pass the values in column B excluding initial investment to NPV function and add the initial investment. We have regular intervals in column C. Payments are made on the same date every year after the initial investment. To use XNPV on the same cash flow values, use this formula. Pass the values in column B including the initial investment. Pass the corresponding dates. If the cash flows are distributed evenly through the investment, the NPV and XNPV functions return very close values. We have irregular intervals for the same cash flow values in column D. Pass these dates to the XNPV function. Use this formula. In case of irregular intervals, the difference between the two results is very significant. The Excel NPV function cannot adjust the supplied rate to the given time frequencies automatically. When calculating the discount for different payment frequencies, you should always convert the annual discount rate to the corresponding periods rate. Divide the annual discount rate by the number of payments per year. For example, if the investment pays monthly, divide the rate by 12. If the investment pays quarterly, divide the rate by 4 and so on. Use this formula if the investment pays semi-annually. Divide the rate by 2. Use this formula if the investment pays quarterly. Divide the rate by 4. Notice how the values change if the same amount is paid annually but in different frequencies. If the frequency of payment increases, the net present value increases. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.